Okay, let's bring in Oklahoma Senator James Langford, Republican from Oklahoma. Senator, you've joined forces with some other uh, senators. You asked senators to get those MIGs, those MIGs, those Polish MIGs, into Ukraine right. somehow. T Senator, how's it going? And, and tell us what, what, what it's, the, what it's the going status is. Really on. slow, really slow, to way too slow is how it's going, actually. And that's been the challenge of this. Those MIGs really were needed three weeks ago. They become less and less relevant as they come along, as the Russians are allowed more and more time to be able to take out the sustainment locations where they do repairs, take out more airfields. When Zelensky asked for these three weeks ago, that was the time to actually provide it, not for the administration just to dither the whole time saying we're thinking about it while the Russians are selectively taking out every location. Yes, yeah, Senator, I find it odd that the, 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 the pushback by the Biden administration was, was somehow well, those would be, would, the MiGs would be deemed offensive weaponry. Meanwhile, you know, javelins, stingers, uh, surface to air missiles, handguns, rifles, those are defensive weapons. I mean, I've asked this question to others before. It doesn't matter where these things are being deployed rather than the type of actually what they're firing. Yeah, I, I still don't understand even where it's even deployed. Clearly, stingers and javelins are deployed from the United States into Ukraine. Uh, so you can't say if it, we can't just do a direct transfer because we've done a direct transfer of small arms. Uh, I can assure you helicopter pilots that are Russian helicopter pilots that are getting shot in the face with a stinger as it comes up from the ground, they know that's an offensive weapon on the ground from Ukraine where they're de defending their nation. The MiGs are the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's not, we're not worried about Ukrainian pilots taking the MiGs and flying to Moscow and bombing the Kremlin. Uh, they're gonna do ground cover uh, for their forces on the ground. They're gonna try to be able to help protect other forces in their nation. Uh, so these are defensive weaponry, the same as javelins and stingers are. You know, and, and uh, of course, they, you know, they, they, they circle, you know, they circle the wagons, so to speak, with, with around Biden, uh, the, the Democrat senators, uh, senator from Illinois, Dick Durbin, defending the Biden policy. Take a listen. We're asking for one third of the Polish Air Force uh, to be sent into Ukraine. There are other ways for us to provide surface to air missiles and air defenses that will keep uh, the, the Russians at bay in terms of their aerial attack. Uh, I think there are ways to do that that are consistent with the NATO alliance uh, and would not jeopardize expanding this into World War III or even worse. What, what's your response to that, Senator? My first response is when he said World War III or even worse, I don't know if he's worried about an intergalactic conflict all of a sudden as well on that. So I don't know what's <laughs> right. World War III or worse on it from there. But the, the first thing on this, when I look at it, I ask the simple question, we're providing all this weaponry already. Zelensky is saying, I'd like to have drones, I'd like to have surface to air missiles defend, and I'd like to have aircraft. For us to be able to say, ah, really from 6,000 miles away, we really know what's best uh, for you. And we're only gonna give you a portion of that to be able to help when we've been able to fulfill the rest of it. And as far as a third of the Polish Air Force comes, you're dealing with a country the size of Texas when you're dealing with Ukraine. It's a very large country to be able to say they're going to add another 24 to 30 jets to be able to cover a country the size of Texas. That is a very small addition of what's actually coming in to be able to help the Ukrainians. The Poles have already said we would gladly turn those over to the Ukrainians, allow us to be able to do this. So it's not like we're asking the Poles to be able to do something they don't want to do. They've already said they want to do it. Zelensky's already said they want to do it. The only person that's actually dithering on this has actually been President Biden, while literally people are being bombed in shopping malls and in their homes right now. Senator, you, you make some great points there. And, and for those who say, you know, all the money that we're sending over to Ukraine, are you kidding me? Uh, we're offering a billion or $2 billion so far to, to, for humanitarian aid. And, and we need to be giving these people billions of dollars of defensive weaponry. Think about just for one second. I got to go, Senator, but just want my audience to understand something. We left $85 billion, $85 billion worth of assets in Afghanistan. And now we're playing over a billion or two for Ukraine who are trying to defend freedom and democracy in, the, in, 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 in a country that's up, right up against a, a dictatorship. Senator James Langford from Oklahoma, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Always good to see you.